Welcome back to the channel. And in this video, uh, we are introducing our newest vehicle uh, in our um, Dirty Fly Adventures. And um, later in the video, I will go over um, all the specs and everything. But uh, we're just kind of doing an intro to uh, let everyone know what we have now. And uh, we still have the Xterra. Um, this will be used on different adventures. And as you can tell, um, this is a setup um, that we normally have on the uh, Xterra, but um, uh, we are using it on this vehicle to test it out. And you can see right here that the uh, wedge style tent is not uh, very good on a Grand Cherokee um, WK2. It overhangs way too much and we will not be using it on it. And uh, it fits way better on the Xterra. But um, this is kind of the 1.0 uh, part of the build. There'll be a 2.0 probably in a, long, in a while, um, but I uh, just wanted to introduce uh, this vehicle and you'll be seeing it a lot more on uh, the channel. And uh, we we'll also will be introducing our off-road trailer. Um, and as you can see here, we are um, uh, fully loaded out and uh, it's, uh, we were loaded down. Um, but yeah, it uh, it worked out good on on this adventure, and um, I'll have another video uh, coming out of this uh, actual trip. I just wanted to introduce it and uh, go over um, everything uh, that we have on it so far in the 1.0 version. Uh, so hope you hope you enjoy. You will also see that this is a different setup than uh, the actual uh, walk around coming up um, because uh, uh, we want to test out two different styles on it. We'll actually will have a third style with our uh, off-road trailer, but uh, yeah, uh, that'll probably be in the 2.0 walk around, uh, probably the off-road trailer. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoy. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just let us know. I was just going to do a little walk around of uh, our newer vehicle, um, it's a 2018 Jeep Grand Cherokee and um, we've got some modifications done to it so I just kind of wanted to go over what we have and um, it's pretty much done being built but uh, yeah I'll just kind of go over uh, everything we have. So on the front here, we have um, six monkeys, lower front guard, um, with their hidden winch mount. Um, and uh, I have the, uh, the winch is the X2O, which I'm sure most people are getting now. And, um, and six mon monkeys has been really awesome because he did this little custom little emblem here for the, uh, the clutch access and uh, it looks really good. I've been really happy with six monkeys products and, uh, and his uh, uh, recovery points too, uh, which is part of the uh, hidden winch uh, system. And yeah, we got the diode dynamics light bar um, mounted there. I'm really happy with those and um, so up here we got the six monkeys uh, ditch light bracket which I'll probably upgrade to their heavy duty one um, I didn't realize which one I ordered and this is the light duty one and uh, it gets a lot of bouncing but uh, if you ever do order from six monkeys make sure uh, get the heavy duty one and we have the uh, um, uh, diode dynamics uh, ditch lights as well. Um, very happy with those. And coming over here to the side, we have the uh, um, Vision um, Plus 18 offset uh, wheels. They are 17s. And to go along with the Falcon Wild Peaks um, uh, ATs. AT3Ws, I should say, and pretty happy with those. Um, haven't had a lot of miles on them yet, but um, for sure uh, happy with them so far. They are 33 technically, but uh, 32.7 in real life. So just be aware that Falcons run run small. Um, and then in the suspension, we have Old Man Emu 2.5 inch lift. 
Um, and uh, we have the stock upper control arms for now. I'll probably swap those out soon. Um, that'll probably be one of the last things we do. And we also have uh, Six Monkeys uh, skid plates under there. Um, and just the aluminum ones. And that'll probably be all we get for now. Maybe down the road we'll get the, uh, 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 the uh, washer fluid um, uh, uh, aluminum reservoir. And coming to the side, we have uh, six monkeys, the uh, rock rails, with the, uh, the, the lights, the rock lights, which is uh, not hooked up yet. That's the one thing I still got to do. I'm still uh, getting time to wire them all up, but um, should be nice. And then coming around here, we got the six monkeys roof rack um, with the uh, rock lights as well. Uh, more camp lights, I say, but um, still got to wire those up as well. Um, but yeah, we got the, uh, those are just going to end up being, uh, um, chase lights basically. And, uh, for this trip, I have the, uh, Thule, um, cargo carrier on there to carry my stuff. And yeah, uh, it's a good, good setup for, for just me to this trip. And, um, yeah. So coming around the back, we have the, uh, uh, dirt comp trail swing, um, for our tire carrier. And it is uh, the best one on the market. Uh, I'd highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, uh, it's going to be one that lasts a lifetime. And yeah, we really like it. And got our trasheroo, which is on its last leg. We've got probably, we're almost on three years on this one, which I was surprised we got that, that much out of it. Um, but yeah, we got a new one at home. And um, yeah. And we got just a little two gallon roto pack, um, just in case. Um, haven't needed to use it yet. And that pretty much wraps up everything that we have on, on our WK2. But we've been really happy. Oh, we had some custom work done here. This is, uh, in case you didn't know, we fly fish. And so this is, uh, we got that. That was pretty awesome. Got the Midland radio system. I just have it here just because when we're not using it, it's just easy just to stick it on the inside. But yeah, it's a, it's a great, great little, uh, little rig for overlanding and no issues on this trail we were just at. I mean, look at this beautiful lake. It was a difficult trail getting in, but um, yeah, it, uh, it did well. We're happy. So if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I know everybody wants to know about wheels and tires, but yep, plus 18 offset gets a nice stance. That's pretty nice, I'd say. Yeah.